Hello everyone, this is Rick, and welcome to Astral Club. This is Apocalypse Now. Before we get into it, Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, you can do so. When you do support us, you get advanced episodes, commercial free on Sunday, a library of downloaded episodes for your podcast app, and a Patreon email where we can talk back and forth. And if that's something you're interested in, you'll find a link in the description. Next up, private lessons. If you'd like a lesson to learn how to astral project or to improve your current abilities, I'd be glad to work with you. All you have to do is go to the uh, description and send me a request for information to the email that is uh, included. Okay, um, I think you know by the title of this uh, podcast that it's not going to be a cheery one. And I want to keep it short because there's really no reason to make it long. I have done a number of trips since my last discussion of this topic because I wanted to gather more information. I've not only talked to spiritual sources, but I've also been able to uh, get information from sources that uh, are top secret. And uh, I don't want to mention them because it's... Uh, could land me into some hot water. So I'd like to share what I see and what I have seen. The clouds of war are gathering. Now, nothing is ever 100% certain, but I've been told that there's going to be a major war before the end of this decade. And if you recall, some years back, I mentioned that the end of this decade would be different from the beginning and that everyone would know the difference. And I'm afraid I don't have great news here. The only thing that is uncertain at this point is exactly where the war is going to start before it spreads. When I was looking at, I was shown an image of the globe and I saw a black cloud of war hanging over China Another one, of course, over the eastern Ukraine and Russia. And a large, fierce one over Israel and uh, Hamas and the Gaza Strip. It seems like war is virtually inevitable at this point in time. The U.S. government is aware of this, and they are making plans to deal with it, what they know is coming. One thing first up is Marines are being sent to the Middle East. Yes, they have announced on the paper, you know, in the news that some are going over there, but a lot more going over than you know. They're, they're being prepared for an occupation or to proceed in a war against Iran. Uh, they're taking that very seriously right now, and that's the current plan. Another major plan that is going on right now. And don't believe uh, when they say, oh no, we're not doing this, because that's what they always do when they're doing something. They always deny it. The draft is being prepared. There's just not enough people joining um, the U.S. military. Uh, when I joined uh, in, the, in the early 80s, there was plenty of, of people who were joining, so there, didn't, there was no need for any kind of a draft. And especially, uh, only males had to register for the draft because most of the MOSs, or jobs, in the military were forbidden to women. All the combat positions when I was in were forbidden to women. So there was no reason to draft them. Because when you have a military draft, what you need is cannon fodder. What you need are bodies to give rifles to. Uh, you don't need specialists. You've got those already. And now that, that uh, women have fought long and hard to open up all the jobs in the military, the military understands now that they are indispensable and that it, they will be part of any draft. The draft that is being prepared right now will be for men and women 18 to 26 years old. 
Uh, they're getting it ready right now in secret. It won't be announced until after the presidential election, but because Biden doesn't want to lose votes among the young people. So that's why it's being kept ultra secret. But the mechanisms are in place. It is going to happen. That's a virtual certainty. Um, you know, I, I got the information there that that's a certainty. There's virtually no way around that right now. So be prepared for that, anybody who falls into those age groups. Lastly, as far as nuclear weapons are concerned, Israel is currently preparing several nuclear weapons to be used if necessary. Uh, if, for instance, things are looking grim, uh, they, are, they are preparing them for use if necessary. The United States is also preparing for a nuclear conflict. Uh, they're currently secretly testing their missiles to make sure they're in operational capability. And they're also going to be sending over a number of them on a task force, which is either on the way there or will arrive in the Middle East by the end of this year. The goal that I got was that these forces from the U.S. must be in place by the end of the year and be prepared to fight anything from a minor to a major conflict. So these are, this is the information that I was given. And it's, it's very sobering advice. What can we do about it? Pray. I don't know what else to tell you. And we were entering in um, a future that I saw several years ago. And I hoped and hoped that it would not come true. But we've now been set on a course where it's virtually unavoidable. That's really all I have to say about this particular uh, episode. I, I'm just upset and I really don't want to say any more. Uh, if you found this interesting, please hit the like button, share it with those of like minds. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, I welcome your questions and your comments. What do you think about this whole process? You know, about the conflict uh, of this decade, about a renewal of the draft. Uh, obviously, um, be, you know, share your information, share your opinions. Uh, this is Rick, and I will see you on the astral plane.